Hello friends, good morning. Welcome back to Astra 2022 program presented by Akka AS Academy. In this particular video, I will be dealing with 7 of the questions based upon cubes and 3 reading comprehension questions. So let's begin. A cube is colored red on all of its faces. Okay, a cube is colored red on all of its faces. Only one, uh, one color has been used. So it is then cut into 64 smaller cubes of equal size. The smaller cubes obtained are now separated. Okay, so a cube is there and it has been cut into 64 equal sizes. Okay, so the, the, the smaller cubes are now obtained. The question is how many smaller cubes have no face colored? Okay, this is the first question. See friends, actually this question can be solved in two ways. That is a formula method and uh, imagination. Okay, you can imagine a cube that is cut into 64 pieces means obviously uh, the question is speaking about cube means actually the side will be 4. Okay, n will be obviously 4. Okay, n means actually uh, the cube will be of 4 centimeter length. That is the bigger cube. Okay, it will be of a 4 centimeter length and also when the when it is cut into 64 smaller pieces means each smaller cube will be of one centimeter each see friends if at all you find it difficult to imagine then you can apply the formula here okay see when you don't know the size of the uh, bigger cube you can take it as x right so x cube will be equals to total uh, number of smaller cubes okay so x will be equals to 4 so this is simple okay this formula you can apply here okay see in the previous video i told you you need to uh, find the total number of cubes so obtained that will be equals to size of the larger cube 4 into 4 into 4 upon size of the small cube 1 into 1 into 1 this will this will also gives you 64 here okay so n will be 4 here see i'll try to draw a figure here see friends actually this is the figure here okay see in uh, uh, three different colors I have uh, tried to represent so that you can imagine in a better way okay see this will be the cube here and the, what is the question here actually the question here is how many smaller cubes have no faces colored okay if at all these cubes consider a cube it has been painted from outside okay in a one color only that is red color this cube has been painted from outside in a red color the inside of these cubes okay you need to imagine a 3d figure when you unbox this cube there will be inside one layer right in a uh, one layer right so those cubes will not be having any faces colored here okay see friends actually if at all you find it hard to imagine then there is a formula also okay so what is the formula here actually formulas for no number of smaller cubes which have no surface painted is n minus 2 whole cube so what we have got in here 4 4 minus 2 whole cube that is nothing but 2 whole cube so 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8. So there will be 8 cubes with no surface have been painted. Okay. So 8 is the answer here guys. So moving on to the next question. How many smaller cubes will have at least 2 surfaces painted with red color? Okay friends. Actually this is the continuation for the same cube. Here I will be drawing the cube. See here. See friends, actually this is the cube here and what is the question here? How many smaller cubes have at least two surfaces painted with red color? Okay, so they are asking for the two surfaces painted with the red color. See here, I will be marking here. These are the cubes. Those will be having two surfaces painted with red color. Okay. So how many are there? You need to count here. According to the formula, See, you can count both mechanically as well as using the formula here. So, what, what is the formula here? For uh, two surfaces painted red, that is n minus 2 into 12. Okay, what is in here? 4 minus 2 into 12. 4 minus 2 is 2 into 12 is 24. Okay, so is this 24 answer correct, friends? Actually, this, this question you need to take because 24 is also there. And see the question here. Observe the question here. Okay, this 24 is actually wrong. Why it is wrong? I'll be telling you how many smaller cubes will have at least okay this word you need to take care of at least two surfaces painted with red color at least means minimum two surfaces painted with red color and also they are indirectly asking us to count the cubes which have been painted with three colors also okay see here these also you need to include here at least means this caution you need to take here okay at least these these 
these surfaces okay these are painted with three colors okay so eight cubes you need to add here because the corner cubes will be painted with uh, three colors okay so 24 plus 8 that will become 32 okay 32 is the right answer for this guys okay see friends there is much chances that you will be making a mistake here by without uh, uh, noticing this word at least here okay so make sure that uh, take a caution to read the question uh, in a proper manner and then answer the question okay so moving on to the next question so how many smaller cubes have two surfaces painted with red color see you can make out the difference right uh, to previous question and to this question how many smaller cubes have two surfaces either they are mentioning two surfaces only not they are mentioning at least okay so this at least you need to take uh, care so two surfaces painted means actually 24 will be the answer according to the formula c here uh, number of uh, smaller cubes which have been painted with two surfaces n minus 2 into 12 so n is 4 here so 2 into 12 that will be 24 which have solved as well as in the previous question okay friends moving on to the next question a cube is colored red on two opposite faces blue on two adjacent faces and yellow on two remaining faces okay there are totally six faces for a cube they are telling that a cube is colored red on two opposite faces blue on two adjacent faces and yellow on two remaining faces so the remaining faces also will be adjacent only okay adjacent only so it is then cut into two halves along the plane parallel to the red line one piece is then into four equal cubes and another into 32 equal cubes okay see this is the question here second part you need to take care of guys see friends here i'll be drawing the diagram see here so there is a cube okay this is the cube here and a cube is colored red on two opposite faces okay see here we shall take this as red here and the opposite face here okay that will be red here two opposite faces are red here and uh, blue on two adjacent faces okay see here blue on two adjacent faces these two are adjacent right yes or no blue on two adjacent faces and yellow on two remaining faces okay this side will be yellow and the bottom will be yellow okay so all the six faces have been colored here with three different colors red on two opposite face blue on adjacent and yellow on adjacent okay so it is then cut into two halves along the plane parallel to red faces okay see here along the plane parallel to red faces means red is here and one other red is here so it is cut into two houses means it will be cut like this here okay this shall be cut into two pieces understood guys how this cube has been cut into two halves okay so then one piece is then cut into four equal cubes so here this one part see observe here this part and there will be another part here okay so this part i'll be dealing with now this one part is again cut into four equal cubes okay see that part is again cut, cut into four equal faces first i will take this part here outside okay now this will be a cuboid guys okay it will not be a cube it will be a cuboid here okay so this is cut into four equal parts means one line here and one more line here okay yes or no but you need you also need to take care of the colors here okay so this will be red color this face will be red color this face will be blue color okay this face will be blue color and the above faces will be also be blue color and this will be yellow color here yellow beside one and bottom also yellow but the opposite face to this red here that will be uncolored okay that you need to take care of because the other part has been moved on to that side okay so the other cube i'll also be draw here see observe the second cube will be uh, somewhat resembling like this guys okay they, that is cut into 32 equal parts right so so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay so 8 4 are 32 yes or no you 
there are eight cubes in one set here so second set and third set and fourth set okay uh, these two are sitting one another another guys actually it has been cut into a single cube has been cut into two different cubes right so somewhat it will be like looking like this okay you need not to draw the figures friends okay there is no need of to drawing the figure but for your representation i am showing the figure here how it might be looking here okay see the single cube will be looking like this okay there has been a single cube but it has been cut into two different cubes with uh, such and such details okay so the colors will be here the i represented the early er, earlier colors right here see this shall be red and the opposite face shall be red and this shall be blue and the above face will be blue and uh, the side face will be yellow and the bottom face also will be yellow so these are the conditions you got here okay so what is the question ask here how many cubes do not have any colored faces okay any colored faces means none of the faces should be colored here see here in the above set will not be getting any here but here these inside set okay uh, inside set will be getting the cubes which have not been colored any surfaces okay so friends actually you use you, you see these cubes right two three six seven behind these cubes four cubes will be there which will not be painted with any color okay so the option option for these will be option for this answer will be option c here okay option c is the right answer here so moving on to the next question how many cubes do not have any red faces okay when you observe the diagram here you, when you go to the previous slide and observe the diagram friends actually see friends actually this is the cube single cube and from this cube we have obtained this here okay so how many cubes do not have any red faces okay see observe here this is the red face here and opposite will be the red face here okay so from the upper cube cube number one we shall not be getting any cube that will be uh, painted uh, that will not be painted any have red faces okay so from the bottom cube see here guys these two sets okay these two sets observe this two these two sets these two sets will be having cubes which have not been painted red by red surfaces because okay you, you need to imagine a bit here so how many cubes will be there in one set one two three four five six seven eight so eight one set and eight one set okay eight plus eight will be 16 here okay so 16 is the answer here guys okay moving on to the next question so next question is uh, it's a bit long question okay 91 small cubes of same size are arranged in two cubes of side four and three centimeter each so one cube is having four centimeter and three centimeter each okay the bigger cube is colored in red on two opposite faces white on two adjacent faces and blue on remaining faces while the smaller one is colored white on two opposite faces blue on two adjacent faces and red on the remaining faces taking both the cubes into consideration answer the following question based on the above information okay so this question looks a bit bigger friends but actually it's a similar question based upon the uh, previous question what we solved here okay there was a single cube that was divided into smaller cubes there here they have divided two cubes already and they are asking the question here so i'll be drawing the uh, i'll see the question and i'll draw the cube in the next page see here how many smaller cubes are not colored on any faces okay the cube will be c c friends actually this is the cube i have uh, represented here based upon the question here okay uh, there are two cubes four centimeter and three centimeter each and they have been divided okay so among from this cube the question is how many smaller cubes are not colored of any faces so this is cube a and this is cube b okay so uh, the question is how many smaller cubes are not colored on any of the faces see friends you know the formula right in the previous video i told about the formula here so number of cubes that are not colored on any faces the formula shall be n minus 2 whole cube okay so here n is 4 here for cube a 4 minus 2 whole cube that is 2 cube that is 8 here and for b here n minus 2 whole cube so 3 minus 2 whole cube so 1 cube so nothing but 1 so 8 plus 1 will be 9 here 
simple okay so moving on to the next question how many cubes are colored red white and blue on one face each okay on one face each red white and blue so in the previous uh, question i have drawn the figure guys actually pause the video go to the video and check that video then only you will be able to understand so from each cube a cube a and cube b will be having okay uh, four smaller cubes each from cube a and cube b okay where you will get red white and blue faces each so 4 plus 4 is nothing but 8 here so 8 is the answer here okay so moving on to the next question so this is the passage here it is said that india has entered a critical decade okay critical decade india has emerged as a large and systematically important economy on the global stage it enjoys the unique advantage of having many economic indicators in its favor particularly large domestic market robust investment to gdp ratio and demographic advantages so three are there so market here only domestic market and uh, gdp ratio and uh, demographic advantage however all of these will need to be leveraged to get the full advantage out of them okay however all of these will need to be leveraged to get full advantage out of them undoubtedly this requires india ad india to address its internal ch challenges which include internal challenges which include long standing problem of poverty and the development of its social and physical infrastructure the recent global slowdown has thrown up new challenges for india with export growth being continuously negative since mid 2012 compared to high growth rates of some months of the previous year with limited physical space available for government and with protectionist measures of trading partners showing signs of rising the policy options left are more at micro level okay see here with limited fiscal space available for government and with protectionist measures okay for of trading partners showing signs of rising the policy options left are more at the micro level so it cannot be done at the macro level okay given its size and its profile in the global economy india will inevitably need to play an active role at global level okay not just in debates about how to resolve the continuing crisis and prevent the reoccurrence of similar crises in the future but in influencing the rules for global economy on, on overarching macroeconomic issues such as trade capital flows financial regulations climate change governance and governance of global financial institutions okay so friends actually this is a larger passage okay uh, while dealing with the passages initially only i have told you first you need to go and check the questions here okay so uh, then only you will be able to focus on uh, you will be able to focus on what part of the passage i need to concentrate more then only the time will be reduced here so what is the question here why author seems to be more concerned about the indian economist domestic challenges okay indian economy has potential to avert global crisis okay in the in the second part it's actually been seen that it uh, indian has the potential to avert global economic crisis india economy is home to the biggest market that can help global economy to rise further domestic economic issues in india can affect glo global economic institutions as well domestic economic issues in india can affect the globe yes this is also right india economy is home to the biggest market yes this is also right okay so the option will be so the correct answer will be all one two and three is the right answer here okay moving on to the next question in general based on the passage what can we say about economic crisis or slowdown okay in general they are asking it refers to disbalance investment no this is wrong here it refers to sharp deviation in micro and macro economic fundamentals of the economy most probable option it refers to low development in social and physical infrastructure of no this is also wrong it refers to decline no this is also wrong so option b is the most probable option here when you read the passage carefully here guys okay so moving on to the next question which of the following can be properly inferred about critical decade so what do you mean by critical decade actually in the first line of only uh, the uh, author is saying about the cricket critical decade here okay so a decade full of opportunity of for india yes there is an opportunity okay uh, a decade where economic crisis is more visible mm, i'll check the third option as well a decade that can pose india as a key player in the global yes this is also right 
for in the second uh, second page you will notice this a decade can uh, the india is a key player in the global economy a decade full of opportunity yes this is also right a decade where economic crisis is more visible no this is not the most probable option for this critical decade here okay so one and three option option a is the right answer here okay guys one and three option a that is the right answer so this is it for today guys uh, thank you for staying such long hope you find this video informative kindly do like uh, comment and subscribe to our akis academy channel uh, we shall catch up in the next video god bless you all thank you bye